just what I strive to do to return to uh, how I used to be. It's pretty tough though. April 19, 2005. In Fallujah. In Fallujah. It was on his second deployment. He was 20 at the time. Yeah, and he was a vehicle commander riding uh, front, uh, front right seat in the Humvee that hadn't quite got back to the repair shop to get up armored. There was just a couple of pieces through his, through his right eye, you know, not really any uh, terrible aesthetic damage to him, you know, but it, it, the, the pieces of a combination of concrete and, and, and metal and different uh, pieces of shrapnel uh, went through his right eye, forehead. Um, it severed his middle cerebral artery on the, on the right-hand side of his brain. We protect him sometime probably a little bit too much and just don't realize probably what more he can do on his own. And maybe that's our fault, you know, for not doing that. But that's why a weekend like this is great. The Bowman Lodge is a, uh, an exclusive hunting retreat built solely for disabled veterans. Um, it's about 8,000 square feet. It's uh, the entire downstairs is ADA compliant, wheelchair friendly. <clears throat> Uh, since the the uh, beginning of, of the Iraq war, the Afghanistan war, uh, there's been a, a, a large influx of, of wounded warriors. Uh, the numbers are anywhere between 35 and 50,000. Um, that's a lot of hurt guys. Um, all of our guides and staff are, are volunteers, uh, but moreover, they're all veterans. Uh, most of the staff are people that I've personally I've served with uh, in the Marines um, or friends of, of theirs that have served. Uh, almost all of them are combat veterans. So unlike a, a commercial uh, hunting operation in, in Texas or New Mexico, uh, our guides can, can speak the same language as our guests. Um, and they don't expect to hear stories, but they will, op you know, willingly and openly listen to stories and will will understand they'll get it uh, and there's no pretense uh, or nervousness or or uh, or taboo subject so it, it kind of we found that it sets our, our guests at ease from the get-go um, they can come here and unwind and be themselves and be amongst brothers um, and that's really what sets sets the Bowman Lodge apart from from any other similar uh, setup. When I told my wife yesterday on the phone that he'd gone three, three and a half hours, she said, that's what's starting to happen with, he's getting out more with people besides his family in social settings and situations where he's become more part of the group and part of that, of, in doing that is, I mean, you know, going to a deer blind and not complaining. It's small things that that happen that they used to come a lot more quickly as he was in rehab. Now it's further and further apart when it when it, when it comes to those kind of changes. But you know, a year ago, walking down the hall by himself, he 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 wasn't doing that. When he got sunny, that helped stabilize him helped him kind of learn how to how to balance a little bit better on his own. And now he's walking around his house here comfortably. I feel good about him doing it because I know that it's, you know, I don't have to be right there all the time. Need to, need to be close, but the more and more that my hands aren't on him to help him, the better off he is. And that's kind of what this is, you know, I mean, and, and but, but, uh, uh, the social settings is where he's learning everything again, you know, and that's what he's got to do. I guarantee you he will talk about this trip forever and talk about you and talk about Connor and talk about Greg. You know, I guarantee you he's, he's, he's going to remember things about all of you guys, something. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's something that, that, that uh, uh, he, he, he needs to do. He needs to rebuild that memory of good social activities and fun and those and those kind of things. So it's good. You, know, you dropped them. You dropped them right on the spot. Yeah, excellent. You all right. You 
dropped him. Great. Stay strong. You'll make it through. You just gotta make sure you know you can do it. And you will. I was walking for a really long time. But then I finally got the gear I needed and started walking. I walked half a mile in about 25 minutes. Quarter mile in about 25 minutes. Pretty cool.